Hi everyone, welcome back to Drew Drives. Today we're going for a drive in the 2025 Acura MDX Type S Advance. Just got my hands on it, super cool. It's your full digital gauge cluster over there. Here's a new touchscreen interface, as you're probably gonna see in my Type S. I also made a video on the A-Spec Advance. I'm gonna have a video on the Advance coming up soon too. Ventilated seats, massage seats. All of them have the same uh, seats now, except on the Type S, you get suede inserts on the seats right there. It's pretty cool. Here's a Bang & Olufsen sound system. This one has 31 speakers, I believe, which is insane. And the speaker grills are black instead of silver in this one. It's really nice. This is the Lunar Silver Metallic with an Azure interior. You have the dark wood trim. It's pretty cool. You have the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and Google Maps built in. You don't have built-in navigation. Like from Acura, it's from the Google Maps, which I love. I love Google Maps. It's the best. I like it better than Apple Maps. Ambient lighting. What do you think of this vehicle? Beautiful. Pretty good? Yeah, so here are your rear seats. Pretty awesome. So let's go for this quick drive. I'm in Sport Plus right now. So I mean, I've always loved the MDX Type S ever since it came out. I think it's awesome. They're really popular. And the new updates on the 2025 MDX are awesome across the board. And the Type S obviously has 355 horsepower, 354 pound-feet of torque. They didn't change the powertrain or anything like that. It's all the same, except it's like the interior updates are the main difference and the front fascia and everything. So yeah, no surprise with the drive. It drives pretty much the same as pre-facelift. And I was saying in like the other, in the normal one, like the, when I drove the A-Spec and the Advance, the transmission, it feels a little snappier because obviously they made some updates here and there with like the way they tune things in a facelift. Pretty nice. So yeah, seamless pickup as expected. The interior is really nice. I mean like if you've been waiting for a 2025 Type S instead of getting like a 24 or something, you know, you're probably, you're really gonna like, you're really gonna like the car and uh, that you waited because like this new interface is really easy to use with the touch screen and everything. It's super seamless. It's, I mean, like you can't really go wrong with it. And they move the screen closer to the driver so you don't have to reach all the way without the touch screen. And all this right here, there's like freed up space because there's no more touch pad. You have a uh, two trays, uh, cup holders and wireless charging tray right there as well. Obviously all the materials are awesome. And I definitely want to test out that insane sound system. What would you say as a passenger about how you feel about this vehicle? How are the seats? How's the comfort and everything? Uh, super spacious. I do like the fact that, like Drew was saying, no more touchpad. I feel like you can get more arm room in here. I mean, I don't know if it's a placebo thing, but I feel like at least the front section of the car. That just feels, feels more seamless to you? Yeah, a lot more seamless. I, I like it a lot. I think they did, Acura did a great job. Nice sounding engine, great pickup. Powered by Type S. And I like how when you turn on the car, like the Type S logo shows up in the gauge cluster. I think that's kind of cool. And yeah, after this video, Stay tuned for the advance, and there's also um, once the A spec, not the A spec event, just the A spec shows up and the tech package. I'll get videos on those too. I want to get a video on every single trim level so I can have a pretty comprehensive video collection of the 2025 MDX. I'm going to try to get as many videos as I can which are relevant and that people are going to want to watch. If you have any suggestions for what you want to see 
please leave it in the description, I mean the comments below, and I'll be happy to address it. I want to make videos that people will help people make a decision as to if they want to get a 2025 MDX. Obviously the brakes are amazing, you have four piston Remo brakes. So let's try that sound system real quick. Also the chime is a little bit different. That's a pretty good sound system. That sounds really, really good. Yeah, I mean, it's really nice in here. Let's look at the backup camera. I've, uh, as I was saying, I feel like the resolution's improved. It's pretty nice. And then now let's go for a quick walk around of the vehicle. I love those black speaker grills. They look fantastic. MSRP is $76,300 on this vehicle. For your rear sunshades. But yeah, it definitely looks more seamless with that screen a little bit forward. Looks great. I love the Azurite interior. I would definitely drive Lunar Silver and Azurite. I think it's an awesome color combination. Here are the new wheels. Berlin of black wheels with the silver uh, machine finish to it. I love the wheels, they look good. And the front fascia looks amazing. As you can see, you have the frameless diamond pentagon grille. Individual diamonds right there. This is the front fascia. The A-Spec Advance's front fascia is pretty much the same, except the grille looks different on the Type S. Man, this is beautiful SUV right here. I'm very impressed with the, this update. Tilted telescoping steering wheel. If you want to look at the massage, here are your massage options. Man, I'm so used to going down for a touchpad, that's funny. And then you have wave, shiatsu, step, awake, fusion, lower back, upper back, rejuvenation, zen. And you also get two years of free maintenance with any new Acura vehicle purchase. You also get Acura Link as well. Here's your key fob. Red key, red Type S key fob as before. Red outline and it says Type S on the key itself. Here's your heated steering wheel. This is a really, really nice vehicle right here. Everything else pretty much. And this part of the console is the same. It's just mainly the difference over there. And the screen is really fluid. Like the way it moves, it's really, really fluid. Like there's not any kind of lag, which is important. And you also have this Bang & Olufsen speaker grill over there. But yeah, this is a great car, and thanks for watching another video of Drew Drives. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Leave any comments about any videos you'd like to see, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out.